Well, hello, welcome to uh, the Deakin University uh, virtual presentation for the Bachelor of Science uh, for Open Day 2020. Uh, my name is uh, Mark Warren, and I'm currently the course director for the Bachelor of Science at Deakin. So the Bachelor of Science at Deakin is what we call a generalist degree. And uh, that means that uh, as well as doing some specialist studies in the, t in the form of uh, majors, um, you also do some generalist training um, and have the opportunity uh, to do electives as well within your course. So the Bachelor of Science at Deakin provides uh, basic general training across the science disciplines and in maths, and that's predominantly done at first year. As I said, it provides uh, specialist training, science discipline training, and it also provides the opportunity for you to undertake uh, professional practice uh, as part of your studies. So there's a quite a variety of different major sequences that are offered at Deakin. Uh, um, some of those majors are the same at the Burwood and the Warm Pond campus at Deakin Uni. So this degree it runs at both those different campuses. Um, some of the majors are a bit different as well. So it's important when you're selecting the BSc at Deakin, if you're considering it, um, that you should also be mindful of what majors are being offered at uh, the different campuses. So. Each major includes six compulsory units which have a specific learning outcome and provide you professional training in a, a, very, a particular area of science. Um, so students are encouraged to tailor their uh, course structure around their career objectives. And I'll talk a little bit more about this in a moment. Uh, but they do, you can do this within the Bachelor of Science by uh, firstly, choosing a major or majors that you're interested in or you think uh, may lead to employment. And secondly, uh, thinking carefully about electives that you choose uh, within your course that help strengthen your employment prospects. Students are also encouraged to consider taking double majors as this can uh, really help with uh, employment as well. So some of the major sequences that we have on offer at Deakin University, uh, well, this is a full list in fact, uh, is animal biology, cell biology, chemistry, environmental science, genomics, which is about uh, uh, DNA studies, those sort of things, human biology, mathematical uh, modeling, and plant biology. So where these are listed with the um, uh, letter B, this means the Burwood campus, and where these are listed uh, with the um, uh, uh, letters WP, it means the Warren Ponds campus near Geelong. So as you can see, a lot of majors are offered at both campuses, but some are campus specific. And there's also some that are offered exclusively as online uh, learning within the cloud, or well, one in particular, mathematical modelling. So if we start looking at some of the sort of uh, basic elements of the BSc. Uh, the first one is that we have our basic core units, which all students that, that undertake the BSc at Deakin University uh, need to do. It's part of the course rules. And so they need to, you need to take some first year uh, studies in biology, chemistry, physics, environmental science, and mathematics. So it really gives you a broad based training in science. So one of the key characteristics of the Bachelor of Science degree at Deakin is that it does give you a broad based training in science. And it's one that differentiates it from some of the other BSc degrees at other universities. So of course, we know that a lot of our students that come in to the Deakin BSc don't necessarily have all three and units three and four of VCE training in all those different discipline areas. And we do account for that by offering different levels of first year studies in uh, some of these areas. So for instance, in chemistry, there's two different uh, chem first year chemistry units. Um, uh, and you, the one you take rather depends on whether you've, you've done units three and four in VCE chemistry or equivalent. So as I said, a key component of the, uh, the Deakin BSc is this broad-based training in science. Another key component is um, uh, training in science professional practice. And in second year level, we have students uh, undertake uh, units 
uh, which involve um, uh, communi the communication of science and the role of science within the community. So as science graduates, um, we are looking for our um, alumni and students who've left the university to be able to have an influence in society that's based on their science training and um, decision-making around, uh, you know, evidence-based um, data and those sort of things. Then at third year level, we have uh, our professional practice unit. There's one core professional practice unit uh, for the BSCS Community Science Project, where students work in teams, uh, generally speaking, uh, uh, for a client, often which is external to the university, on a particular science in the community project or, you know, uh, uh, some sort of science development project uh, um, for a community organisation or maybe for um, a particular industry or whatever. So there's those professional practices. There's other opportunities for doing professional practice and I'll come to those in a moment. All right, so if we look at the, uh, the typical course map for the uh, Bachelor of Science, uh, what we can see here is um, it's, this is not uh, um, fixed in terms of everybody's uh, study program, but it just give, gives you a general idea of the, the structure of the Bachelor of Science. Now, the first thing I'd say about this is that this is a typical course map for the single degree in the Bachelor of Science. And you'll notice that within the single degree of Bachelor of Science, there's a lot of these orange, orange boxes, which are elective units. So these enable a fair bit of flexibility. Now the Bachelor of the degree, the Bachelor of Science degree, I should say, is also run as a combined degree with um, Arts, uh, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Commerce, Bachelor of Law, and uh, Master of Education. So you can do a combined degree in Bachelor of Science with those other degrees as well. And the important thing to note about the combined degrees is that because you're taking basically uh, um, two, three or four year degrees and then condensing them down to four or five years, um, a lot of the elective options for double degrees disappear. So these end up being taken up by um, core units within the um, other double degree that's, with the, that's accompanying the Bachelor of Science. So this, these sort of a, the major differences in terms of the course maps between the single degree and the double degree is a single degree has a lot of these elective slots, whereas the double degrees, uh, you tend to not get the same choices um, in terms of electives. Um, most of the units are going to be core or compulsory units that you need to do for both degrees. All right, so in terms of the single BSc, um, the core units are outlined in dark blue here or darker blue and uh, pink. And so here in first year, we have our first year unit, which is total cells and genes, which is our first year biology unit. Uh, then we have our uh, two first year chemistry units. Um, students who haven't done VCE chemistry would take this unit here, chemistry in our world. And those that have done uh, 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 units three and four within BCE chemistry or equivalent would do chemistry in the professional sciences. So they wouldn't need to do this first one. Students going on to do a chemistry major, which I'll talk about a bit in a moment, would need to be do this unit as a first year unit. Um, students can do both. So this gives some, this first, this, this uh, uh, chemistry in our world unit does give a good introduction to the more advanced chemistry here. Um, which is chemistry for the professional sciences. And, and that would enable a student perhaps without a full VC chemistry background, um, if they were really keen on going on and studying chemistry, um, they would probably need to do both those units in first year. But often students only do one, so one of these two. So in that case, one of these, unit, one of these spaces would open up as an elective for them. Okay, so the other, the other uh, major sequence is our environmental science uh, uh, unit, which is called ecology and environment, and our mathematics units, which is introduction to statistics and data analysis. So the type of maths that we uh, mostly get students to do uh, uh, within um, um, the Bachelor of Science of Statistics, although um, there are other maths that can be relevant to majors that you can do at a first year level uh, that you may also wish to, to pick up um, at, um, um, 
pick up pick up as part of your, uh, an elective as well. All right, so then we have our second year major uh, units, which, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, not our major units, second year core units, which are the communicating science ideas and the history and philosophy of science. So these are about science communication and science in the society. Uh, these are studies um, um, that help students uh, transfer their knowledge and skills in science and use them in a, in a broader context uh, within um, the community and in, within their workplace indeed. And then finally, we have our professional practice unit, which is the community science project. So these are all the core units within the uh, Bachelor of Science. Now in the aquacolor um, uh, spaces here, uh, we have uh, an, in, an indication of where your major sequence is. So you remember that a majors are six credit points, which are six subjects. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, there's always at least two second year units and two third year units uh, within the major sequence. Uh, uh, but some major sequences have a first year unit involved with them. So, so for instance, the environmental science major has a first year unit in it. But most, um, uh, most majors uh, start at second year. Um, and so there's some uh, good elements to that because it enables you to have a think and reflect about what sort of major you want to do um, while you're studying first year before you have to make a hard and fast decision uh, going into second year. And then we have all these elective units. Now these elective units um, can be undertaken from anywhere in the university, providing you do the minimum number of um, science units that are required for this uh, degree, you're able to take electives from anywhere else in the, uni the, the university. However, we encourage students to think about two things in particular. And one of those is that think about taking a double major. So you've got your first major sequence outlined here, which is a, a, a compulsory part of the course, part of the course rules. But in the electives, you can choose to take a second major. Okay. Uh, and a lot of students do that. So for instance, students might take a major in cell biology and they might take another major in human biology. Another a good one to combination, if you're interested in environmental science, you can do an a major in environmental science and a major in chemistry. That makes you quite employable in the areas of environmental science. So again, it's coming back to that sort of theme of thinking about your degree and your career planning. So you can, you can do a double major by using these electives um, for the second major. Another thing you can do is, you, as I said, you can choose uh, electives from anywhere in, in the university. So for instance, you might um, um, do a chemistry major and then say, well, you want to go into industry, the sort of agricultural chemical industry or something like that. And so one of the things you could do in terms of adding to your chemistry major is choose electives in business. Uh, and build those into your BSc. And it just helps you make it a bit more employable um, in, when you finish your three-year degree. So there's lots of things to think about. Uh, but as you can see, most of your first year is pretty set um, in terms of core units. You do have a couple of electives or maybe a major uh, sequence unit. Um, but um, for the most part in first year, you have a lot of time to think and reflect about where you're going to go, how you're going to build your, construct your degree, put your degree together in terms of its different components um, around your career aspirations. Okay, so just moving on to some of the teaching formats, you know, in a normal year, <laughs> not like this year where we've got COVID-19, but in a normal year, the taught teaching formats, uh, you know, uh, on-campus lectures, uh, or which are often recorded. So a lot of students uh, choose to listen to recorded lectures uh, and look at the slides. And there's laboratory practicals. Now, a lot, a lot of science units have laboratory practicals. They're often a compulsory component. And it's often necessary for you to come into the university to do those practicals. Some uh, units, science units, and um, uh, um, yeah, some science units also have um, fieldwork associated with them as well. But increasingly, uh, a lot of the content is all be, is becoming available online. For instance, you can do. A, a mathematical modelling major within the BSc, completely online, um, if you wish to. Um, um, so 
via those different teaching formats. Um, this year, as a, as, a, as a consequence of um, staff having to respond to uh, lockdowns associated with uh, COVID-19, there's been some really fantastic online learning resources that are being developed. And I, I'm thinking that these will probably be used well into the future as well. So um, I guess the way to describe the teaching formats going forward is that they're going to be multiple um, access pathways to uh, the curriculum. Um, uh, through these different formats. Okay, so moving back on, moving back into the careers and thinking about careers. So the Bachelor of Sciences is a generalist degree uh, overall, but you then choose your sort of specialist major uh, sequence areas. And um, as a consequence of there being different majors, there's many uh, varied career pathways um, uh, associated with the Bachelor of Science. So as I said, you have first year, you have a lot of time to explore and reflect on possible career options. And there's certainly um, a, a lot of career planning information that is available through Deakin University when you come here. And there's also the opportunity at Deakin to develop what's called a learning evidence portfolio, which enables you to uh, compile um, your work and testimonials and um, all the different things you do at university as a package, and uh, then to be able to provide that as evidence uh, to a potential employer of your knowledge and skills and your experience in different areas. So um, not only are you maybe able to do an online application, you know, you can have a link that, that goes to a portfolio which evidences a lot of what you might say in your job application in, in detail. So that can be quite a useful thing. And it's a useful thing in terms of helping students also reflect about um, how they're building and constructing, a career, constructing their education around their career aspirations as well. Okay, so keeping on with um, looking at careers, one of the best things you can do you know, when you start thinking about where you want to take your Bachelor of Science um, at Deakin University, is probably in your first year actually, is to start looking at some of these um, online uh, job um, sites like Seek. And you simply type in Bachelor of Science or Biology or Chemistry. And what you can get uh, to look at is, is a, a range of jobs that are being advertised and it gives you a really good idea about where the jobs are in these sort of areas, whether it be the general BSc, biology or Bachelor of Science. And so if you have a good search around these sort of things, especially during your first year when you come to Deakin, is that you're able to then um, get some idea, get some knowledge about where the jobs are. And from that point, you can then backtrack and start to plan some of your degree around where some of those jobs are. So one of the things about the BSc is that because it's very, the things, particularly the, the single BSc is because it's very flexible and you can do double majors, you can do something that you're interested in, okay? And that you have a passion about, and that's a very important part about studying at university is that you come here to study your passion. And so if your passion is in uh, something like plant biology or something like that, that's great. It, there are actually quite a few jobs actually in plant biology, but if your passion is in plant biology, that's great. And that might be a big interest. But then you can also think about doing another major or uh, a package of elective units, which help with your employment and where you've got greater employment prospects. Um, so I come back to that example I used before, where if you're combining environmental science with chemistry, those two majors, that gives you a competitive edge in terms of employment with environmental consultancies. So um, yeah, so these, it's, we always encourage our students to, to have a good search of these uh, job sites and have a good look at the type of jobs that are available. You know, what's available to a graduate in the BSc? And, uh, and that can help you think about how you, you put together your course map and the subjects that you're going to study. Okay, so as I said, within the BSc, uh, there's also um, a core unit at third year in terms of uh, uh, professional practice, work integrated learning. It's a, called the Community Science Project. 
But aside from that core unit, because you've got lots of electives, you have other opportunities to do work integrated or learning or professional practice placements. So it might go into an industry where you, for, for a period of weeks where you uh, undertake uh, certain uh, work and training within that environment. And then that can count as credit as a unit towards your Bachelor of Science. And there are quite a number of different types about these, the types of these, but they, they include things such as internships, um, uh, where students can go into uh, um, these external organisations and providing that it's, it's broadly related to the degree, they can get credit uh, for uh, you know, a subject or two in terms of um, uh, these programs. But when um, things open up a bit. Um, students can do can travel to do these sort of placements as well, and um, they're a really good way for students to get some insight into uh, potential employment areas and areas of industry that they might be interested in. And it's not uncommon for students to do these types of um, will placements to end up with jobs in the placement loop. So they're very worthwhile things to think about, science might lead you. Okay, so when you do your three year Bachelor of Science degree, what you're basically doing is acquiring knowledge and skills and capabilities um, in, uh, um, through the study of various subjects. But once you push past that third year, rather than acquiring knowledge and skills, you start creating knowledge. And you, if you're interested in doing that, you can go on and do a Bachelor of Science Honours program. So that's an additional fourth year on your Bachelor of Science. And uh, it, for the most part, includes a research project, which you uh, do in close, working closely with a particular academic staff member. Um, and then if you want to go on further in that sort of uh, knowledge creation area, you can, you can move into a Master of Science and, and a doctorate degree as well. That's a long way down the track. So you have that sort of transition from the three-year degree where you're developing skills, acquiring knowledge, acquiring capabilities uh, to go out and, and, get, and get a job within, it, within um, the workforce. Um, and uh, those three, the three-year BSc, uh, if you develop, if you, compile it carefully and thoughtfully will certainly enable you to do that. Um, but then if you want to go on and create new knowledge, these options are available to you as well. So we're just moving on final, getting towards the end here. We're looking at some of the basic requirements for getting into the BSc at Deakin University. So as I said, it's basically a three year degree. It's offered at Burwood or the Warm Ponds campuses and you need a, um, well, la this year, the lowest selection rank ATAR was uh, between 60 and 65 or so. So you need, in terms of uh, VCE uh, um, school leavers, uh, typically you need units uh, three and four in, with a study score of at least 20 in English. If you're doing English as a second language or English EAL, you, it's uh, 25 as a score. Uh, and that's the, the basic requirement to get into the Bachelor of Science. The more science you have behind you coming in, the better, of course. Uh, but we do um, accommodate um, varying backgrounds in secondary school science within our first year program. So, um, as I said, part of our BSc is actually to give you a broad based training in science. Um, so, um, coming in with with good English skills to any university degree is, is an advantage. And so that's why we have that prerequisite. And so most students coming in via this mechanism will make a, an applicant, a VTAC application towards the end of this year. So, so there are other entry pathways. So if you've done previous studies or you have well of relevant work experience or both, um, you can also make an application uh, through uh, VTAC or through uh, directly to the university uh, to come into the Bachelor of Science program as well. And uh, the, the selection officers that make uh, judgments about uh, the level of your previous training and um, in terms of previous study or previous work, 
um, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, make a decision about whether to grant you entry into the BSc on the basis of um, evidence of your previous studies or, or, or work experience. So there's those two different pathways for coming into the Deakin Bachelor of Science program. Okay, so one final thing I would say to you all is that the Bachelor of Science at Deakin provides broad-based training. It provides a lot of different opportunities uh, for major studies in different areas. And um, it provides good professional uh, uh, practice opportunities as well. And I, I suppose the advice that can be given for any student studying any university degree at any institution is to remember that degrees are, uh, are really your degree. So you've got to come in, when you come in, um, you've got to think hard about how you structure the degree, um, how you put it together, so that it, so that it meets your career aspirations um, for when you leave. So it's useful for you when you leave the university. And so throughout Deakin University in particular, we encourage our students very, very strongly to think about their future work, their future career, where they're going to be going once they've left Deakin University and how they can um, uh, best prepare for that stage in their life by planning their courses very carefully. And so Deakin Bachelor of Science is a really good uh, way to sort of begin that process because our first year gives you time to reflect and think about where you might go before you make, start making hard and fast decisions in your second and third year. So I'll leave it at that. Um, you'll notice here there's a number of uh, uh, social media sites which you can visit, which will give you additional information, good additional information in terms of um, your uh, uh, Deakin, Deakin University study programs. And uh, then we'll uh, have, uh, a, you'll have some opportunity to ask some uh, uh, questions after this presentation. Okay, thank you very much and uh, all the best in what's a very important decision for you in the future. Bye-bye.